Uh, we're out in California working on, uh, I'm at home right now, we're working on a new album, that Book of Shadows record. So, uh, okay. yeah, so in, in between the breaks on the floor, we've been just going in the Black Vatican and knocking stuff out. Very cool. I heard you were doing Book of Shadows Volume 2. Is that because it's the original is almost 20 years old? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I couldn't believe it was 20 years already, but, I, you know, it doesn't seem that long ago, but, uh, but yeah, it'll, it'll be cool. Looking forward to it, man. Would you say it kind of stems from your Unblackened um, tour, when you were relearning all the old songs? Yeah, without, I mean, without a doubt. As much as I love doing the heavy stuff, always, you know what I mean? But, you know, then again, when I mean, from rolling with the boss, we do No More Tears, and then we do Miracle Man, and we do Mom, I'm Coming Home, you know? So, I mean, it's always been around. The, has the band had to adapt much with Dario now in the band after Nick left after 15 years? I mean, I mean, for me, it's almost kind of like Neil Young and Crazy Horse type of situation. You know what I mean? So it's just, uh, I mean, as far as the guys go in the, in the band, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fraternity and a brotherhood for sure. But I mean, you know, cause it, like I always say, the guys don't, of course, it's just, you always have a home here. It's just a matter of, you know, guys coming and going, you know, if they're, if they're doing other things at the time or jamming with other people. I mean, we're still talking and like that, so, uh, but yeah, Dario, Dario's amazing, man. I mean, he plays the keys, he shreds on the guitar, uh, you know, sings, does chicken, ama- you know, he cooks an amazing chicken piccata nice. as well. So, uh, no, he's an unstoppable rebel force. <laughs> Very cool. Has he um, challenged you much as a guitarist? Um, yeah, well, I mean, you know, there's just, there's other things you can definitely do. But I mean, um, I'm always challenging myself all the time anyway. So, you know, I'm, I'm just always motivated myself to, Try and get better, and you know, move back from anyway. So, yeah. but uh, yeah, but Dario's Dario's an awesome player, man. I mean, phenomenal technique, feel, vibrato. I mean, he's got it all. Got it now. With um your upcoming Australian shows, what can fans expect from the set list? Are you throwing in a few um surprises at all? Well, it's just going to be. We're obviously it's a, it's great family fun entertainment, and it's uh you know we're going to be breaking the the men's um this is the autumn. Men's lingerie, lingerie fashion line on Black Label Society. We'll be bringing that, you know, the garters, the fishnets, and, you know, <laughs> right now my main concern is to do it my lip gloss and my eye shadow matches my fishnets and my high heels. You've got to get the choreography down, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, the brutality. <laughs> Let me say this. There's, no, there's nothing pretty about it. <laughs> no. But back in um, 2008, when you were down here for an Aussie show in Melbourne, um, you piffed the guitar into the audience, man. Was that a spirit of the moment thing, or was that planned? Yeah, I just, I, I just felt overcome with um, erotica and, <laughs> and, and sexiness, and it just happened. <laughs> <laughs> There's a clip on YouTube, and I'm like, fuck, that's insane. Oh, <laughs> uh, silliness. Do you have any favorite Randy Rhodes solos? Um, yeah, pretty much every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> your um, health been since when you had blood clots in 
actually going to be going to watch Monday Night Football with the guys. I hope it's a good one because that'll be the last Hooters you'll be seeing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, that kind of sucks. I, you know, enjoy drinking. <laughs> but I do, I, I do a lot of, I sniff a lot of glue. That kind of place of the booze. Has it given you a bit of a fear of aging now that you're almost 50? No, not at all. No? I mean, you know, you still do your same thing and you... You walk past every day and you always have a good time, man. What's the future hold for Black Label Society? Um, more men's lingerie <laughs> and trying to get used to walking in high heels. <laughs> oh, God. Breaking. Oh, God, it's a horrible sight, man. 